questions. All right, guys. Uh, Derek Brown joining us. Answer questions y'all have for him. Just a reminder, please use the raise hand button if you have questions for Derek. With that said, let's go to Nick Carboni to start us off. All right, Preston, we're waiting for the TV to get turned on. Can't see us? No, nah, not yet. Okay, there you are. <laughs> Lucky guy. All right, Nick, go ahead. Hey, Derek, it seems like you've really kind of hit your stride lately. What's been the difference for you late this season, and, and how do you feel like you're carrying things over to next year? Oh, man, I mean, being, just being honest, just, you know, I've tried to fulfill my role this whole season, and, you know, now it's at the point, you know, I'm starting to be comfortable and, you know, just trying to just keep doing my job. Um, you know, it's, it's really all the guys that's around me that's allowing me to take off and, you know, be able to produce a little bit better. And honestly, I mean, I don't think it's any difference. I just think, you know, more opportunities are starting to come now that I feel more comfortable. Go to Shane Hey, Derek, um, can you talk a little bit about Alvin Kamara? What makes him so difficult to bring down in such a special player? I mean, just like you said, he's a special player. I mean, he's not, you know, I've watched Alvin since, you know, we grew up in the same county playing football when I was in high school. So, I mean, I've seen him for a long time. And, I mean, I just know he's he's a special player. He's a different type of player. I mean, he can run the ball, runs the ball hard. I mean, he's quick. Um, also can catch the ball, come out of the backfield, and just really be that, that other wide receiver on the field. So, I mean, he's got a lot of versatile things about him. Let's go to David Newton, followed by Steven Toronto. Hey, Derek, uh, happy new year. Wanted to um, ask you, how do you feel like you – I know everybody knew you were a run stopper for sure coming into the league, but how do you feel like you progressed as at pressure in the quarterback? And, and how important is it to get another tackle um, – that's good at that beside you for you guys coming at dominating defense. Hold on, would you repeat that? So how do you feel like you've progressed as a, as a pressure in the quarterback? And do you feel like you still need another piece or two beside you to, to help you more in that category? No, man. I mean, I think we got great guys in the room. I mean, we got guys that can get it done. Um, you know, defense that has been playing at a higher level. I mean, I think it's just more so, you know, you bring a whole group of guys, you know, 20, 30, guys into a season and you get zero time with each other before the season. You don't get to have any of the normal OTAs or anything. So, I mean, you're still trying to figure each other out and figure out the system. I mean, having meetings and stuff over the iPad, I mean, you know, it's it's, it's only valuable so much. And, uh, you know, that time that we didn't get with each other, we try to make up throughout the season. And, uh, you know, I think going forward, it'll be, you know, the group of guys, you know, we'll see how things go. But um, I'm then we got a great group of guys. Hey, Derek, back in the spring and summer, there was a lot of uncertainty over whether or not the NFL would get the full 2020 season and because of COVID. Now, this Sunday, you will indeed have had completed a full 16-game schedule. Is there a real sense of relief among you and the other players that you guys have made it to this point and you'll have a full season of football in? Yeah, man, uh, you know, thinking about it four months ago, five months ago, you know, you're sitting at home and you're doing virtual meetings, you're trying to figure out what's going on and, you know, you don't really know anything, um, no more than hopping on the PA calls and things. And then for us to be able to finally be able to get through the season, you know, I think, you know, the first step was getting to game one. And when you got to the game one, I mean, it's just, you know, the league found a way, our organization found a way for us to keep going and, uh, you know, following the protocol from the doctors and everything. It was, you know, it was the best thing for us at the time. And, uh, you know, right now we just being able to carry out everything and finish off the season the right way. To Elena Gutzenberg and then Phil Orban. Hey, Derek. Um, I was curious with one game left, do you feel like you've accomplished what you wanted to in your rookie season? Like, do you feel like I, you said you feel comfortable now? Do you feel like you got to where you wanted to be your rookie year? Uh, you know, I'm pretty hard on myself, so I never feel like I got to where I want to be. Um, but I, I believe I have gotten my feet wet this year. And, uh, you know, that just, you know, it, it's, uh, the door is open. I feel like the door is open and, uh, you know, going into the off season, you know, I'm going in with the experience and just being able to understand the game a lot better than I came in, which allows me to be able to do a lot more. And, you know, just going into the off season, it'll be, it'll be something I take with me. Is there like a favorite, something that you've worked on this year that you're particularly, you know, that you maybe came into the season particularly not feeling comfortable with, and now you feel, you know, anything in particular that you feel like you've worked on? Um, you know, I just think you know, my all-around game has to get better, um, being more consistent. Um, you know, it, I feel like it took me a long time to, you know, get a sack this year. And there was ample opportunities and stuff. I just, you know, wasn't able to see at the beginning. But, I mean, I, 
I got too late on and, you know, it didn't, you know, it didn't make it too bad when they were on Aaron Rodgers. So, you know, that's, that's uh, a, just a great part of the season right there. Was it extra rewarding that it was Aaron Rodgers? Oh yeah. I mean, you got a future <laughs> Hall of Famer and uh, it was a great night that night. Hey Derek, you, you mentioned being more comfortable and I'm wondering what, what kind of specifically that, that looks like for you. When did you realize that you were, kind of getting up to speed and getting more comfortable and how specifically does like does that help you on the field your your comfort level uh, I mean a lot I mean it helps you not to think I mean the biggest part of football is being able to be relaxed and not thinking I mean if you if you can do your job without thinking I mean and it just becomes second hand second effort I mean it, it helps play the game a lot a lot easier to be honest and um it's just one of those things that you know it comes along with time did it take more time or less time than, than you were hoping? Uh, I mean, I just tried to trust the process, to be honest, um, you know, from the very beginning, you know, because we were talking about the process and, you know, how things were going to be here. And, you know, I just tried to live up to the motto and go out there and work every single day. And I know, you know, when my time when my time to shine will come, it, it'll come. But, you know, other than that, I'm going to do my job. I've got time for two more. So let's go to Josh Klein and then finish with Joe Person. Hey, Derek. Uh, uh, I wanted to know what this off season looks like for you and how much different it might be now that you know exactly what the coaches want from you um, from a technique standpoint and, and from a, from a scheme standpoint. Uh, I haven't even thought about it, to be honest, man, I'm focused on playing New Orleans this week and uh, you know, I don't want to get too far ahead of myself. So, you know, I'm just going to leave it at that. Has there been anything this season from a technique standpoint that they have asked you to do that you were kind of like, Oh, I didn't think that was going to be, something that they wanted? Uh, not really. Um, you know, my coaches put me in the best position to be able to play, you know, at, at, at the top of my game. And, um, you know, it's just some things, you know, throughout the process. I mean, you got to learn, um, you know, especially transitioning into a whole new system. You know, I played I played a system like this before, but I mean, it was it was just different. And, um, you know, I had to learn how to, you know, play the technique the way they wanted to. And, you know, going forward, you know, that's what I got to be able to do. Hey, Derek, remember early in the year, um, you were talking about how uh, instrumental and helpful KK had been with you. Has that continued? Obviously, I know he's not around as much as, as he would have been uh, typically, but just wondered if he has continued to be a, a, you know, a helpful voice for you. Uh, I mean, that's the thing about KK. I mean, y'all may not see him around, but I mean, he's always there, uh, you know. His, you know, a text message away, a phone call away. And, uh, you know, that's been something great for me to have throughout the year. Um, you know, the whole sex thing, you know, that was kind of something that was just bothering me throughout the year. But, I mean, it's something that, you know, I sit down and talk to KK and, you know, he'd tell me that, you know, when when, it, when when you get your first one, then they'll start rolling in after that. I mean, it's something you just got to wait. You got to wait for it. All right, guys, that's going to do it. Derek, we appreciate it. Appreciate that, Preston.